That's what you do. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good night. Whenever you choose to watch this video, this is Marlene McKinney, and I am so happy to be with you today, wherever you are in your neck of the woods. This is the Bahamas. You can't see my little country. But one day, what I will do is I'll do a little video of my little island. I'll show it to you as we drive around and um, as we talk. I'll show you how we get around in this little jump little island. I'm on a congested little island here in this little town called Nassau. But I'm so happy that you're with me. So if you haven't done so already, you know what you have to do. Like, subscribe, share, and comment if you like the content on this channel. And of course, today we are cooking up a storm. Let me show you what we're cooking. Let's do that while I do some editing of my video and also do what sharing it on my Facebook page. When you share what you can do for me, why don't you do this for me? Why don't you um, tag me? Find something better today. Some persons have. I think I've seen somebody tags me on Facebook. And I was like, oh, what's this? And they tag me with their family pictures. I thought that was so nice. Now I feel like I'm a part of your family. I just got to remember. I think it was, hold on. It was a, it was a Ruth. Was it you, Lady Ruth? Yeah, it was a Ruth who actually did that. I don't know if it was Lady Ruth, my girl, my Lady Ruth. Yeah, somebody tagged me with all their family photos. I said, oh, what a beautiful family. Yeah, beautiful children. Yep. So I'm just happy to be with you today. So I'm just trying to do this thing of sharing, sharing, sharing quickly. And then I'm going to show you what we're doing today. So it's cheesy broccoli soup. It's no nuts. It's a nut-free recipe. A lot of times, you know, a lot of times, um, many people kind of like, they're like, they shy away from, from recipes with cheesy broccoli because they're like, well, it's so... It's uh, expensive because of the nuts, but this is a nut-free recipe we're doing today, all right? A nut-free recipe we're doing today. Let me see if I can go quickly to where we're going to be today so I can show you what we're doing. Hold on. You all know I have a million things open on this computer as normal. <laughs> That's so normal for Marlene. All right, let me show you what we're doing today. Let's go there quickly. And then I'm going to get that link, and I'm going to share it on my Facebook page, which I haven't done as yet. But before we get started, this is a little of what Marlene does, and you may just want to join her on this. What time is it? Right time to look good and feel good. It's challenge time. Get on board with certified health coach Marlene McKinney. Global Weight Loss Challenge. Enjoy vegan meal plans, clean eating, routine exercise with awesome WhatsApp group support. Get excited. Don't hesitate. Register, forward email address via WhatsApp to 242-535-6293 or Marlene underscore McKinney at live.com. Don't forget to add your name as it appears on your bank card. What time is it? Life changing time. Join the challenge. Get on board. Awesome. Good morning. Get away from washing those dishes. All right. So here's what we're doing today. It's a cheesy broccoli soup. And that's an actual bowl from my little store called Something Better. One day I'll take you on a little rocky road. My little rocky, I'll show you a little tour of my little store where it used to be anyhow, because now it's not. It's just a little apartment. <laughs> and um, so... When I did do this cheesy broccoli soup, I would do a pot. I wish I had the pot in here. I'll show you one of my pots one day. It was huge. And people would come from all over town to get this cheesy broccoli soup. Today's soup, soup is a gift for a sweet young lady who is um, just back home. And so we're happy to have her back home. A young lady that I've grown to love. And so that's this pot of soup today will be gifted to her. I won't be, I don't, I don't think I'll keep any, probably just a bowl full. Yeah. So my favorite soup, of course, you already know my favorite soup is what? Lentil, right? Number one would be lentil. Yeah. And then my second soup would be uh, pea soup and dumpling, maybe split peas. I like all soups, all soups, all soups. I want to show yeah, you something. Lentil is my favorite too. It's so Lentil's easy my to favorite. So Lentil's easy. my favorite. So who, what name is on that bag? Marlene. 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 So in there was a gift of, 
<clears throat> I know today's trivia gonna get y'all. <laughs> now come on, Bahamians, y'all don't say anything. Come on, Bahamians. I know y'all going so I can get my my channel open here. What do we have here? I'm coming closer. Hold on. Just trying to get my channel open here. I'm just trying to get my channel open. By now, I think everybody knows we're live. So I'm not going to say. I wish that we were. <sighs> what do we have? That's the trivia Mommy. for today. <laughs> Why did that? <laughs> so my neighbor right next door to me, she last year, we were just, we'll be talking outside. And I said, I don't think they're right, though. They're not ready. I don't, I don't think they're ready. How do you know when they're ready, any of Miss Troy? Yeah, how do I know? I think they have a distinct, you, you can smell them. You can actually smell some when it's ripe. I'm not smelling anything. Anyway, she brought me three yesterday because she remembers when we were talking outside last year. Last year, that I like mommy. It's a good and neighbor. I think isn't the, stem, the stem also detaches from the fruit. Oh, no, this already. So that. I don't, yeah, okay, that's they're, not right. they're not ready. Yeah, they're not ready. But they, this one looks more ready than the others. It just has a little hue of orange like in there. Yeah. So, yes, yes. Mommy, do you guys know what is, what's Mommy? Those of us who are on the live and can talk back to me. While, I, while you talk back to me, I'm going to share the link with my, my group. I have a group that I normally like to share with. Anybody can tell me? What do you, have you ever had Mommy before? Mm -hmm. Anybody? Uh, no, I've never had it. Never. Never mm -hmm. had it. So inside has an orange color. There's a big seed. So a lot of it is not fruit. A lot of it is the seed. And um, sometimes there are two seeds in there. And um, it is amazing. I'm telling y'all. It has a taste of, to me, it tastes a little bit like, hmm. Mango. Peach. Mango. Mango, mango mixed together. peach, yeah, mango yes. peach kind of thing, yeah, yeah, that's how it tastes to me, like a mango peach kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mango peach it tastes really good, it tastes really good. But today we're doing cheesy broccoli soup. That was our trivia. Today is cheesy broccoli soup. Let me show you what I'm doing. I haven't prepped anything. We need to get in our pot so this could start cooking. And then I'm going to start making the focaccia bread that goes with this. But we got to get this going first. So in the soup, we're gonna have carrots, obvious, obviously. <laughs> okay, all that vitamin A in there, we gotta have that. Beta carotene, yum. I'm gonna put some cabbage, I have some Irish potatoes. I don't usually put sweet potato in this one. You can, but I don't normally. Sweet Irish potato is quite fine in this soup, all right? You don't need anything else, all righty? So what we're going to do is we're gonna get our onion going. I started using this one early yesterday for my salad. I'll use the rest of it now because, you know, it shouldn't stay in the refrigerator like that. Um, I did put one in the freezer the other day. I was like, well, that's when I was going away. I said, you know what? Let me put this in the freezer right now because I don't know what else to do. This. Good morning, Justin. Good morning, Lady Joanne. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Jean de Du. Happy to see all of you. Odile, good morning. My Rwandan brothers and sisters in Christ. Yeah. So we're doing cheesy broccoli soup. Cheesy broccoli soup. And you do need onions, right? Obviously, you need onions. Obviously, you need some garlic. Everything tastes better with garlic except for dessert. Say amen? <laughs> amen. All right. So let's get that garlic going. Put that back there. All right. So let's see if we can get this done. So why not regular um cheese? Why would I want to be creating something that tastes like cheese to put in my soup? I mean, what's the big deal about cheese? Anybody Let's know? Try. Animal by, mm. animal byproduct and could be full of antibiotics and other things that they give the animals. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you. That's 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 a whole belly full for them. <laughs> that's a belly full right there. Because anything that the animal eats is in that cheese. And think about it. In addition to that, you have um something. That, oh, it just crossed my mind. Hallelujah! What was that? Well, of course, it's high in fat. We know that. Very high in fat. High in fat, high in cholesterol, like Linda B. said. Something else crossed my mind just now. It'll come back. It'll come back. It'll come back. We all know I don't be cut man. Huh? The Say color. it again. Yeah, it's color. They put coloring the colors, in it. They put coloring in it. And then they use the, the, the thickening agent, the um, 
the what's it called? They use something called um oh yeah yeah I'm trying to remember that really should not be used. It's taken from the stomachs of calves, the stomach of of pigs. Okay, casein and whey, all of that in there. Enzymes, so enzymes em that they use too. The renin, mm -hmm. it's called mm -hmm. renin. The renin and the the renin and the um. There's two of them. Yeah, enzymes. So taking... say, say it again. Enzymes, enzymes. enzymes. No, somebody else said something else. I don't know. If I was, saying, I was saying sweet. Our sweet. Well, it's... Sweet. Or sweat. I don't. I don't remember the pronunciation. Pepsins and enzymes. They use these things, these to to thicken, and it's not good. And most times, you don't know where it comes from. That's the thing about it. So you say, well, I'm vegetarian, and I eat cheese. You know the ones who eat cheese. You have the um, lacto ovo vegetarians who eat cheese. And you say, well, I eat cheese, and you're like, well, I eat the good cheese, but you don't know where they're getting it from. You don't know where they're getting the renin from. So it can be taken from the stomachs of calves or the stomachs of pigs. And nobody's going to tell you, well, this one came from the cow and this one. No, they're not going to do that. Let me just drop this in there. That's our garlic. And you can add other stuff if you want to. Like you could do onion, garlic, um, celery. That's your choice. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over to the sink. I'm going to rinse these. And I'm going to get my stove going. I normally put my cabbage and my carrots in the same time as far as possible. And the potatoes can go last because the potatoes take a far less time to cook, far less time to cook, all right? Beautiful. So let me see if I can put that recipe up for you while you are, I'm washing dishes, okay? Hold on, I can get that link. Hold on, there we go. Let me share the recipe with you. Let me share that recipe with you. Now this same cheese recipe, you can use this for like, um. Oh, hold on. There we go. You can use it. Let me start and share. Hold on. No sound. You don't want no sound. You can use the same cheese recipe for other recipes. Like you could do it as a dip. Okay. You do it as a dip. All right. So this is the what's going to go in our blender. So those of us who are cooking along with me today, why don't you grab those ingredients, get them in your blender. We need in our pot three cups of water and one cup of coconut milk with our vegetables. So I'm going to get that to a boil. In just a second from now, you'll see what's going on in my pot. I just needed to rinse my in my um, vegetables, which I started prepping during our prep time, which is just before we go live. So thank you for joining us. If you're joining us for the very first time, will you do us the kind favor of telling me where you're joining us from, please, and who told you about our cooking segment? And also, if you've tried any of our recipes, will you do us also the kind favor of telling us how you enjoyed it. I think somebody this morning wants to tell us how they enjoyed that French toast yesterday. Ah, <laughs> yeah, somebody tried the French toast yesterday. So I'm making sure I don't have the potatoes in there. I'm coming to you guys right now. Give me just a moment. I'm just trying to get these vegetables out of there. Let me take you to my stove while you're seeing the recipe on the screen. All right, so here we go. So here goes the rest of that recipe that's going in the blender. You see that? Yes, you do. I think you do. I think you do, right? You have to put in the blender already. And then in our soup, you have your three cups of water, one cup of plant-based milk. Let's make sure that you can see in the pot. All right. There you go. You should be able to see in that pot now. And then I have carrots, potatoes, Oh, guess what I forgot to take out the freezer? <laughs> Anybody can tell me what I forgot? Broccoli. Because last week we prepped the broccoli. You remember that? I right, said, so here you are in my pot. Let me get that broccoli out of the freezer. I forgot it. We had it prepped already. Praise the Lord. Ready to go in the soup. Remember that, guys? Guys, last week we did the broccoli. We need a stem. I think I need to, to get ready. All right. So in my pot, I'm going to put in my coconut milk. I'm going to grab some water. Grab some water. I have no water. Perhaps getting ready to go. And then I'm going to turn the soap on because if we don't, we're not going to be finishing time. All right. It's going to take a bit. All right. Is that, is that cabbage? You I said? put cabbage in everything. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes, mom. Yeah, I put cabbage in the soup, girl. 
It's in cabbage on up in that soup, girl. All right, so let's get that in there. All right, beautiful. I don't think I'm going to put dumplings, although Bahamians love dumplings. Let me tell you something. Bahamians are crazy. <laughs> They're crazy about flour. They're crazy well, about flour. Huh? Can bok choy go in there or under yes. or regular cabbage? Yeah, okay. you could put bok choy. I prefer bok choy over regular cabbage. Much, most definitely. I much prefer bok choy over cabbage. That's my favorite. Much, much, much. We're coming now. Is what we're rinsing my, my measuring cup from the coconut milk. All right, so that's on. And while that is on, I'm going to grab my ingredients so we can put stuff in the blender. Okay? So that's what we're going to do. So I need that to come to a boil. Let me open up my next camera so you can see me moving around my kitchen here, scooting around. Good morning, Curtis. Geronda Curtis, good morning. Hold on for me. Let's see here. Hold on. Trying to make sure I don't miss anybody on our YouTube channel because, I mean, come on now. want to see you guys, right? That's a nice pot. Thank you. I got that. Whew, listen, this pot has a story. You know, everything has a story. I'm going to put some bay leaves in there. Yes, I am. I'm going to drop some bay leaves in there if I can find it in my cupboard. Oh, I tell you, what a time. I did fish out my dill yesterday. All that dill when I went to that garden in Eleuthera. I could have brought back some dill. Now I'm using bottle dill, right? I mean, this lady had dill for days. It was just beautiful. I'm going to show you guys in a minute. All the beautiful dill on that beautiful garden, in that beautiful garden that I went to in Eleuthera. I'm going to show you guys in just a minute. So I'm just putting my ingredients I need now for my um for my cheese. I'm trying to find some bay leaves. Let's put that up here. One day I'll have a lot of space. I, I look forward to that day. <laughs> so we're going to get some bay leaves in there. We don't need flax. You can put that back. No flax. Need some paprika for the color. No parsley. I smell paprika. And now I need to find my nutritional yeast flakes, which I carry with me to Eleuthera. To use in Eleuthera. Mmm, things that make you go, hmm. <laughs> Let's see if I can find it. I hope I brought it. Oh, my. Okay, yes, I did. It's right here. I gifted the people of Eleuthera all of my yeast flakes. <laughs> all right. So let's see if we can get it going. I think we need some cornstarch. We need some flour. Right? Am I right, guys? We need some flour. Anybody remember the recipe? Hopefully somebody. All right. Let's get the blender. Get the blender top. Good. Now you can see it. So... Let's go back to that recipe right quick. So we are doing cheesy broccoli soup without all the cheese. We're making our cheese. All right. We're making our cheese. Let's go back to the recipe right quick so you can see it while I'm putting stuff in my blender. This is a nut-free recipe. It's so that means it's affordable. Okay. I already put some garlic in my um, soup. So in the blender, this is what you're going to put. Hold on for me. Let me scroll down. Scroll back up. Sorry. All right. So in the blender, you need two cups of water. I'll get that over at the sink. Two cups of water. Here you all go again, being all quiet. Mm -hmm. It's okay. So it's two cups of water. What else do I need? Three tablespoons of cornstarch, I think it says. Yeah. I'm just like I said, I didn't get to pull my ingredients yesterday. It was a rough day for me. I taught soap making and consultations and all that kind of good stuff. It was a rough day for Marlene. Rough, <laughs> rough, rough. Um lemon juice. All right. So you got the recipe? You screenshot it already, guys? You screenshot already? Yes. Say yes. Yeah. Let me yes. know. You got yeah. it. So we need it to hey. There goes a voice I know. <laughs> Yes, but I have, I have a sore throat. Oh no, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. We need to get you some concoction. I got some in my freezer. You come in, get it. <laughs> it's far, right? All right. So, okay, let me stop sharing for a moment so you guys can see me. And then I still have to go back to the recipe. I haven't made this soup in a long time. But this was another favorite of my store, something better. People would come to the shop just for soup. 
when I first started my shop, we were called Just Soups. Uh-huh. I was in my store, Just Soup. And we got into doing more because customers would come and say, do you just, do you have anything else? I said, the name of my store is Just Soups. <laughs> and they'll be like, yeah, but like, you could make some sandwiches. <laughs> and that's how we got into making other things, you know? And I said, oh, you guys are tough. You guys are tough, you know? But nevertheless. All right, so I need some nutritional yeast flakes. This is where I get the cheesy flavor from. All right, so it's just half a cup. No more, no mass. And this was full when I left, almost full when I left to go to you. <laughs> that was almost full, almost full. And I'm using dill. So I hope, I think I have a video there. I can show you the beautiful dill. Have you ever seen dill growing? Anybody here seen it? My mom used yes, to grow it. My mother used to grow it to make her. Yeah, my mom used to grow it. Mm-hmm. I love dill. This is perfect for babies. You gripe, no uh. gripe water, mamas, just dill. Okay. This makes the soup taste. This is the unique flavor of your soup right here. Some dill. Okay. Can you, you guys hear my no cat? what, mama? No what, mama? No just gripe me. water. Gripe it's called water. gripe water. In yes, the Bahamas, yes. we use something called alcohol. gripe water. It has alcohol. What Have is gripe water of- for? Oh, it's for gripeiness from the baby crying because the stomach is colicky. When they yes. call oh, it. a colicky baby. Okay. A colicky baby. So no more gripe water. Mamas use some dill. Go to the store if you don't grow it in your yard and just get the dill. And there's a formula for it. I can't remember, but it's just water and dill. You boil it. Steep, of course, you know. And, and I'm telling you, it works. Okay. Hi, Sister Marley. Hey. I could remember it growing wild. You know, we yes, really... it used to grow wild. You have to farm it. <laughs> yeah, it used to grow wild in my mother's garden. It grew as wild. I, as I was driving the other day, I was just looking in yards to see if I saw any. There was none. Oh, wow. Let me see if I can send the video while I'm not on the camera. I got to show you. It's so beautiful. Her deal was so beautiful in the story. I'm telling you guys, it was amazing. Let me see if I can send it right quick to my phone and I'm going to show you guys. It was a beautiful garden, beautiful garden. Let me see if I can go right quick and show you guys while we are talking, because I know that it'll be worth seeing, you know? This was in Eleuthera, and um, look at that, look at this. That's one, that's one video. Let me give you all the dill, dill videos. The garden was gorgeous, just absolutely gorgeous. All right, good, so let me send it to my phone, and then I'll just show you guys. So it's coming now, so let me show you. Dill growing naturally, naturally in the garden. Okay, what else do I need? So I have my cornstarch and some flour. Let's get everything in there first, and then I'm going to show you the dill. I mean, gorgeous. I was like, wow. I was so taken up with this native garden. I'm telling you. Oh, that's full wheat flour. I don't know if I want to use that. Somebody's phone is open, and the mic is open, and it's like a scratchy kind of Yeah, I hear it. I hear the little scratchiness coming in and out. Troy, Troy, check your phone. (laughs) <laughs> it's Miss Troy who's sharing right now about looking in the people's garden as she's driving looking for Dill <laughs> oh, my okay. nephew's name is Dill did you look for him <laughs> his name is a Dill and we call him Dilly <laughs> so Dill, Dill, calling Dill there goes my flower <laughs> alright, beautiful so let's see what else I need to get here, alright so I have my I haven't put oil yet, I'm going to use some coconut oil now I'm just eye measuring you know, sure. <laughs> just I measure a quarter cup, and and you don't have to put. It could be oil free. Oh no, it's no more. It could be oil free. Remember this is our deodorant. Anybody tried it? Come on. Anybody tried it? Come on. Did anyone try the deodorant? This I have no from yesterday to now. No smell. None. <laughs> this is the secret. This is the secret. Antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral. That coconut oil. So get some guys. A young man came to do soap making class with me yesterday, Linda B. The young man spent $40, $14 for a container of coconut oil this big. I'm not lying. What? I said, sweetie, let me show you what I paid $8 for. He said, what? I said, please take it back to the store because then people are robbing you. Highway what? robbery. Come on. Highway oh, that's robbery. Ridiculous. You know, that's highway. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Come on. I said, take it right back. <laughs> All right, so what else I need? My my paprika is my color. You could use pimentos. Pimentos would have a nice flavor, but the thing is about the pimento that I'm concerned with is I don't know if they have vinegar in the can. 
You understand? So that's why I don't do it. I just do the dry um, paprika and that's enough. Yeah. Because you don't know. You don't know. You just don't know. So I have my two cups of water, my oil, my nutritional yeast flakes, my flour, my cornstarch. I have no salt in there yet. I normally add the salt after, but we can add the salt now. I need to get my salt out of the room where my young lady gave me the salt and I left it right there. Miss Troy, do you know that somebody delivered salt here for you? Yes. So your salt is here too. If you're joining for the first time, hey, Delia, how you doing? You had mine before? It is stalling. Get off my camera. Get off my TV. Get get off of my YouTube. <laughs> that girl said this is stalling. So that's my salt. Fresh from the fresh salt pond. I just love it. I just, I absolutely love it. If you're looking for fresh salt and you live in Nassau, hit me up on Facebook. I'll tell you how to get it because I have a sister who sells it. Okay. So let me going to blend this. Let's see if I can blend that. This uh -huh. is our cheese. And our soup is a boiling, okay? So I'm going to grab now. Let's see if I can get my um. Put that somewhere. Let us see. Let us see. Let me see if I can show you guys the videos, okay? Plain or with lemon. What's that? The um. Coconut. Yeah. Let's see if I can get to this. Hold on. Coconut oil. It was plain. I think that's what she was saying. I'm not getting, I'm not following. I'm sorry. Give me a second. I want to show you guys the dill from the garden. The dill from the garden. I was asking if the coconut oil was used plain for deodorant or with lemon. Oh, no, no, just plain. Just plain. No, nothing else. Just, just coconut. Just take it, rub it into your skin. No smell, no odor, no nothing. No residue on your clothes, nothing. It's amazing. All right, it's amazing. All right, let me show you this video of the dill growing in the garden in Ulustra, Bahamas. I won't do audio because I'm not sure. I mean, we were just talking amongst ourselves, nothing major. All right, there we go. Look at the dill. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Mm. Yeah, mm. there is. Yeah. It, wow. it, I was like, oh, this is, I was like a kid in the garden. I'm like, I was a kid in the store. It's me. Hey, hey, wait a minute. That's dill. She said, yeah. I was like, my mom used to grow that. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. All over her garden was just a whole heap of dill. All wow. over. It was just beautiful. I think I have mm. videos of, that's June plum, guys. My Jamaican friends. I said, no <laughs> way. Wow. June plum. Look mm. at the tree, laden, mm. okay, mm. laden. I took a lot of little mm. videos. I'll go back at it later on. I was so taken up with that. I was like, wow. I just loved her garden. I loved her spirit. I loved her, her enthusiasticness, uh, everything about her, her enthusiasm. She was just a little lady, like, like my mother. Little, little, little petite little thing. Little petite. Okay, beautiful. Let's see if our soup is boiling. Yes, it is. It's getting there, but we do need it to cook before we add our other ingredients. Let's see what else we're going to do in the time. Let's see here. Hold on. I do need to make us some focaccia bread, but let's boil. Let's do this first. Let me get some bay leaves in there. The bay leaves do add flavor. Yes, it does. Uh-oh. And it helps to get rid of roaches. Did you guys know that? <laughs> Did y'all know that? No. I didn't know that. How? Take How? the bay leaves, put them, sprinkle them oh, in your yeah. cupboard. In your cupboard, yeah. In your cupboard, no roaches, weevils, all kind of bugs. Weevils, like that. because you know, I might you could put you could add this in your flour. You can put yeah. some in your different, and this will stop the weevil from growing too. That's okay. what I you do. You know what? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. That's what I do. I have it in my closet now. I it spread. Yeah. Because I because have you know at my store too. was all natural. We didn't want to use sprays and stuff like that, so we made things as natural as possible. You know, people came in, they they were like. You want, you want it to be a real thing. It was real for me. This was this is real for me. This is 24 years of real. Th I don't want to be using. Sp I have spray in case I need it, but I don't use it. <laughs> Yesterday, a little fly got me and she see me with my swat. Like, you're going to die. you got to get up here. <laughs> you know, cause I don't want to use the sprays. The sprays are harmful, right? But if you have yeah. to, you have to. Don't, don't, don't not use it. All right, let's get that. Let's get the thingy. Let's finish the soup in completion first. And then we'll see if we can get onto our bread. And then I'm going to direct you to the bread recipe where you can see the finish. Okay? That's what we'll do. Let's see if I can get the bread. So we have a bread making class this, sun this Sunday. And I'm told it's going to be bad weather. Really bad weather. 
to the point that we should not do anything. We should just be locked up inside because it's going to be flooding and everything. And my little island, unfortunately, that's an amazing fact about my country, Miss Troy, and those of us from the Bahamas. Can you tell us how many we are? We are below sea level. Oh, we are be, yeah, we are below sea level. So any little rain, we flood. The same we, we we're float. supposed to have bad weather. Here we float. Too. Yeah, I'm... I saw it on the news this morning as we were exercising. You know, the news on. Yeah. And they were showing all this really bad weather, and I saw your area. I did. Yeah. Yes. It was supposed to be bad weather. So I said, wow. <laughs> what about Spanish time? No, I've never had, I've never used Spanish time in my soup. But you can, why not? Yeah, you can. I just never added Spanish time. I don't put time in the soup at all. To be oh, I love time honest. in the soup. Yeah. You put it yeah. in this one also? Uh no, I've never made that one, but soup, see this I... is dill. This is yeah. dill. Yeah. This is dill. And because it's dill, I don't use Come yeah, by. I don't use yeah. yeah. Because it's so. dill. This is a dill. This is a dill soup. Um dill is this flavor. That's this that's the seasoning here. That gives that unique flavor for this soup. Dill. All right. Dill is the one. Dill is the one. I didn't get to share it on our Facebook page right quick. We just put that link in several groups. I did just put it on my page because there are people who go there just for the link. Um, hopefully they'll see it at this late hour. So that's our cheese. Let me blend just a little bit more. Hold on. One more group. I'm making sure that they became one. Good morning, Norva. Good morning. How are you? Come on, guys. Tell me where you're joining us from. I don't think I know where Nor Norva is joining me from. Where are you joining me from? Tell me where you're joining me from. I'm feeling a lot better today. You guys, your prayers be working, okay? Because yesterday was like a glum day for me. In some Yesterday morning, not all day. Hallelujah. Don't ever stay down. You get up, you, you're feeling down, you don't stay there. You don't That's do that. right. right. No, ma'am. Well, that that um breakfast should have really picked up your spirit. But you know, I I ate one of the I, you know we normally do raw breakfast, so I cheated. That was so good. I was dancing through this house. <laughs> it was See? so good. Mm -hmm. It was so yummy. It was so yummy. I mean, it was amazing. It was amazing. Okay, so our cheese is all ready. We blended. Let me take you over to the pot and let me show you what's going on over in that neck of the woods. I think I have my camera off. Hallelujah. Oh no. Let's see if I can get back into the camera. Let's do this right quick. Hold I on. make banana pancakes instead with um, pecans oh, and blueberries. Oh. Here we go. Let's see if I can get that camera back on. There we go. That I turned it off. By what she made? Say it again. Banana pancakes with pecans and blueberries in it. Listen to me. I love me some banana pancakes. You must be from the Bahamas, sister. <laughs> Let's go over to this pot. Let's go. Look, look what's going on in this neck of the woods. Watch this. <laughs> I love it. So this pot, you know, I've been a missionary for such a long time. I had that spirit in me for a long time. And I was a homeschooling mother. And, um, you know, money was always tight. I just know how to live on $2 a week. I just do. I can teach you guys how. <laughs> I really can. Okay. I know how to live on very little. So my, my, um, keep this character ready. Because once the carrots are ready, then we can put in the broccoli. Broccoli, it's not, they're not ready. Looks so clean, isn't it? Beautiful, clean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. just look clean. I mean, I love it. So let's let that cook a little bit more. So I went to this one came from um, Macy's, but then the Lord would have blessed me. What a blessing! Me, I had my camera. He would have blessed me. I went to a yard sale and met there a lady that didn't want the, the items that the ex, not the ex-wife, the dead wife <laughs> left behind. So I don't want them. And so it was one just like this and the whole set to go with it. I paid about $80 for this pot at Macy's many years ago. You know? And um, that was many years ago. I love this pot. So I travel with my stuff everywhere I go. I do. So here goes our broccoli that we had from last week. I kept some. 
see if I can get in that bag. I didn't fully prep it. That's the crazy thing. Oh, man. So I'm going to add those potatoes. <laughs> but I need to do this. I need to borrow this chair to thaw these out. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So it's just enough for one soup, right? Just enough for one soup. That's our broccoli. You see, I can rinse that right quick. I'll put it on the sink, let the water run over it because. Uh, so that needs to cook now. Let's see if we can get these cooking. So, what would you normally serve soup with? In the Bahamas, we serve our soup with Johnny cake and or, or cornbread. My yes, request sir. is, yeah, that's what we would normally serve it with. But this young lady says, nope, she wants focaccia bread. And she took me to work. I must be love this child, eh? <laughs> the child said, no, mama, I want some focaccia bread. I'm like, you really put me to work. So I prefer, though, to do like Johnny cake or cornbread because it's quicker for me than the bread. Next I don't time think she will do complain. Johnny cake. Another you time you'll Johnny do the cake? Johnny cake. No, another Have you done time Johnny cake before? Another time you'll do Johnny cake for us. I will do Johnny cake for you. It's amazing. Johnny cake is awesome. You've had Johnny cake before? Yeah, I have. Yeah, Johnny cake is good. It's I've good. not had it, but I heard of it. Yeah, it's very, very good. So we could do Johnny. I, I'm going to text you and ask for which one because it's much quicker, much easier than doing Pocasha. Let me just cover this soup. And then let me get my broccoli. Yeah, I think I could get through that now. It's a lot better. Better, quick quick better. question. Does my focaccia bread have to be in a warm oven while I'm waiting for it to rise? I mean, you don't want it to be too warm because you can, I mean, I just I just take, I try to cover it and take it out of draft. Anything that's too cool. Oh, okay, because I don't have yeah. an oven. I just have the confectionery oven. No, no. I just cover it. I make sure it's covered. I make sure mm -hmm. it's covered. That's very important. You make sure that it's covered. That's number one. And then you want to um, keep keep it out of cool areas because then it slows down the rate at which it will rise. Mm -hmm. It slows it down tremendously, right? Tremendous. And, and then let it sit for twenty minutes, right? I normally let it sit until it doubles in size. Like literally, I let it sit for about forty five minutes because I want it to okay. really double. So I okay. let me show you my pan. Watch this. So I, if I'm putting it in this, hold on. And I, I ain't made, making no and I ain't making no bread this size because food are food are full. Yeah, I made it. I made it before. It was delicious, uh -huh. but I put the oil on later, and I put too much on, and it caused me some indigestion. So I was gonna say, yeah, don't add too much of the oil. You don't even need it like that. Just a little I, to glaze it. Just a yeah, little. I, just, I put just to give much. it. A, just just take a little brush and just put a. Just use your finger. Actually, I put the oil on when I'm putting in my dimples. I just put a little on when I'm putting in those dimples, and that's mm -hmm. not that's too much. So I just wait until it comes up to here. You see that? Yeah. You see the size? Yeah, you want to count yeah. that size. So I make it there. That's, you're trying to get bread in under an hour, you know? It was but delicious. You, it was It was good. I put garlic awesome. and olives on top and rosemary. Oh, oh it was the bomb. Oh, look at you. The bomb. <laughs> Not just good. It was the bomb. In the bomb, it's a bomb. Just boom. <laughs> I love that. It was really good. It's really good. It's a good bread. It's quick. Like I said, you know, one morning I woke up at my store and I... Well, I used to live in the I lived in the back section of my shop. I'm just in the Chinese. I like to live where I work. And so I got up and I, I woke up like this. <gasps> Mr. McKinney, my ex husband said, What happened? I said, I didn't order bread. <laughs> I was like, <gasps> like, what am I gonna do for burgers today? Because you know I'm doing soup from I mean I woke up like, you know, when you wake up, I get a cold sweat, like, oh no. Right. And I said, oh man. And so yeah, I I just um <laughs> I'm coming, Laura. I see that question or request. And I was like, boy, I don't know what I'm going to do. And yeah, I'm going to get the focaccia bread started. Okay, because somebody's asking. And then you can go back and get the video. Yeah, and I was like, boy, I don't know what I'm going to do. So I take off the outer section of this broccoli because it's kind of tough. But those tough. stems do well in soup. Those stems do well in soups. Okay, don't waste. I don't believe in wasting. Let me tell you something. It's not good. We need to learn how to live on little. We do. We do need to learn how to live on a little. Yeah. Okay. Get rid of those bills. That's the number one I think to say to you. So get rid of all the bills. Get rid of the bills. Pay your bills off. You can't be a missionary with bills. It's too much. It's stressful. Okay. So as far as possible, if you can, get rid of the bills. Pay them off. I think that's what she's saying. Teach me about that. Number two, once you get rid of your bills, simplify. Live simple. In other words, 
don't, don't buy what you don't need. My mother had three questions to ask as we would go to stores. My mother had a lot of wisdom. She says, do you need it? Can you live without it? You think, is Kefi on? I don't know if my sister's on. Because there were three questions she would ask us. I'm, I'm lacking the third. If anybody knows Kefi's number, go on, Veronica. Text and ask her. What are the three questions mama would ask us if we were going to purchase something? Do you need it? Can you live without it? And there was another question. <laughs> I can't remember the other one. And that's it. So I go into a store. How many dresses can I wear at once? Only one. Do you really need all these dresses, ladies? Some of us mm -hmm. have clothes in the closet with tags on. That's not, that's not, that's not being Christ-like. That's not being, uh, Sister White, our spirit of prophecy, she says we should live frugal. Yet, at the same time, when you purchase, it should be quality items that will last a long time. So right. My mother, my parents bought us clock shoes. Clocks is the most expensive shoes, but guess what? It lasted two years. So you know what I did one year because I didn't want to wear it the next year? <laughs> Anybody know what this mischievous girl did? Because I was mischievous. I was a cussing mischievous girl. I used to cuss like a sailor. <laughs> Listen to me. I cut those shoes. So you're giving me these shoes that are going to be here forever. I, 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 I tell you to buy me shoes that are going to last forever. So I took the scissors and I cut the shoes. How was your Mom bottom is? after? You, how was your bottom after you cut them shoes? <laughs> it was my my daddy didn't play with us. <laughs> Listen to me, one slap, <laughs> back ass now. Yeah, it was brush the ground and stride rights, and I never had a corn or never had problems with my feet. Broccoli, celery. <laughs> yeah, my my parents were like, "You cut the shoes?" I said, "No, I didn't cut them. I don't know what happened to them." Yeah, you're lying to. Yeah, you gone, you gone, you gone. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I, I got a lot of beating because I was quite mouthy. My cousin, my cousin said yesterday, she said, my mama told my dad that you were a cussing girl. I said, he said, no, not Marley. He said, yes, <laughs> I was bad. You know, just got into some bad habits. Praise God for his You're mercy. You're still fighting, put, Marlene. You think You're I'm still not? In a good I'm way. Not. You're feisty <laughs> in a good way. Let's check that soup. I am not feisty. <laughs> I don't think I am. I pretty, I'm trying to be good. I'm trying to be good. Yeah, you don't want to see feisty. I tell you. <laughs> okay, Laura says, hey, good morning, good morning. Do you have the money to buy? Hold on. Hi, Benny. Oh, so, good morning. Wouldn't go. Wouldn't it go into compost? Yes, you could put that into the compost. I kept it there. It's still there. Um, Laura says, teach me. Kathy says, can you afford it? Afford it. Can, can you, you live, live without, without it? it? Do, you, do need you need it? it? There you go. <laughs> I didn't want to interrupt you, but she replied. You told me to ask. My mother said replied. three things. Do you need it? Can you live without it? And what else? What was the other one? Can you afford it? Can you afford it? <laughs> can you afford it? So that's how you live. So I live very simple. I live very simple. I'm telling you guys, simplify your life. Sell those things you're not using. Get rid of those things yeah. you're not using. I what you keeping them for? That Let's get yesterday. onto that plot. Yeah, sell those things you're not using. Get rid of them. Get and my, rid of and them. And my daughter said if you bring something in, make sure you send something out. Okay? Okay? Oh, that's all I got to say. Yeah. Okay, let's check those potatoes. Because once the potatoes are ready, we good to go. Our soup's going to be ready. I don't think we're going to get to that bread. I think we'll just talk about how we're going to live more simple. So get rid of those bills. That's the first thing you want to do. Get rid of the bills. How do you do that? One bill at a time. Pay them off. Pay them off. Yeah. That's Two, do. don't get in no more bills. Pay them off. Do not go in no more debt. Do not go on borrowing money for things you don't need. You don't need it. Remember those really? three questions. Put it I, I want Kefi to write it. I wish she could bring it here so I could copy and paste it in this chat. I want you to see it. Do you need it? I know some of us will convince ourselves yet. I do need it. I have to have it. Do you need it? Can you live without it? And can you afford it? Because if you can't afford it, you have to borrow for it. And here's another rule. Do not borrow. for If you can't buy cash, don't buy it at all. You get what I just mm -hmm. said? I'm the, I'm sorry. I buy I have a car. I don't owe for my car. I pay electricity. I live in a very tiny house concept. If anybody lives in the Bahamas and want to see my tiny house concept, you can visit me. I have a tiny house concept. 
Everything's here. Thank you, baby girl. Thank you. Everything's in this little tiny house concept, but it's small. It's it's small. It's some all. <laughs> the Jamaicans say it's some all. But live simple. Don't go borrowing what you don't need for no things. You know, that's how we do this. That's how you're going to get out of because if, you, if you're getting ready to move to the country, if you get you can't go to the country with bills. You can't go living in a, being in a missionary on the mission field for the Lord and you have to worry about well, Jesus, how I can pay my mortgage. You can't. I went to Laurel Brook Academy when I first left the Bahamas. I went to a beautiful school called Laurel Brook Academy. It is a self-supporting school. When I went to Laurel Brook Academy, I had no bills. I paid off bills. I paid off those bills. I was working. If you're working, pay them off. Stop buying. We buy too much. We things we don't need. Okay. Our soup's just about ready. Let's add that broccoli. Broccoli, celery. <laughs> All right. Let's get that in there. I guess I can tell me I'm face eight because I'm. <laughs> That's what she's talking about. I'm tasty. <laughs> I guess that's what she's talking about. Let's get that broccoli in there. That's not enough broccoli, though. And I don't have any more. Hallelujah. Anyway, yeah, that's not enough broccoli. Anyways, this cheesy broccoli soup is going to be cheesy. Let's cover that soup. Two more minutes, and then our soup is going to be all ready. Any other advice you can give them, those of us who want to get out of the city and you want to get all out of bills, okay? Stop buying, stop spending, stop borrowing. Amen? Let's do this together. All right, let's do this together. And then try to eat what you grow in your country. Let me get that link and put it in our chat. For those of us who'd like to come with me to the prayer line um, today, we're going to just, we're going to be praying today. That's really what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be praying today, okay? We're going to pray, pray, pray. That's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be praying today, getting together. Hold on, just putting this link in the chat so persons can come. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh Hold on. Because we have five minutes. I want to get out of here in five minutes. So hopefully our soup will be ready then. Thank you for joining. Hi. Wherever you're joining. Share the link. Morning, I'm, I'm, hello, baby girl. I'm doing that now. Hey, it's I'm ahead of you today. <laughs> Say yay. I just you said might, That's what I was doing. You might as well post the Greek three questions in YouTube too. Okay, hold on. Let me get it. Hold on. Repurpose and trying... recycle. That's repurpose one. and recycle. Thank oh, you. Oh, recycle. Repurpose and recycle. I I don't believe in buying all. I went to a store yesterday. They had the most beautiful little containers for storing stuff. I said no. I said my containers are the ones I recycle. Not because they look all cute. Oh, listen here. We gotta stop. We gotta stop. We gotta stop. Hold on. Let me send those questions thing again. Thank you so much, Kathy, for waking up <laughs> and sharing that with us. My mother was a woman of wisdom. Okay. Yeah, they a had common sense. Maybe not school sense too much, but common sense. Common and sense. that will take you And that ain't so common sense. these days, sister. Common sense ain't so common these days, right? No, no. They had to survive oh. on common sense. And it yes, took them a long ways. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> Yes, I think our mothers were before their times. I know my they mother. were. They yeah. were. They were. They really were. You know, and we need to stop. We need to just pay attention. Just pay attention. Bring my little basket out. I need to show my basket and show off my little gifts. <laughs> I just love those. Now, what's happening tomorrow? Tomorrow's Friday. May I ask you to join me in prayer and fasting? Could I request of you to join me in prayer and fasting? So what we're going to do. We're going to do some Granny Smith apples with carrot. And maybe if you want to do other stuff, you can do other stuff in there. We're going to do juices tomorrow. Tomorrow is a day designated to cancer, breast cancer. I have a sister who called me and she says, I have breast cancer. Will you fast and pray with me? That means I'm not going to be chewing anything except for my juices and water and maybe some tea. I'm inviting you to join me. Those of us on YouTube and those of us in Zoom land, please join me. Tomorrow will be designated breast cancer day. For me, I don't know that it is breast cancer day. It's not at all. But we're fasting and praying for a sister who is fighting because we want to live. And God has asked us to do whatever we can to live. And so she asked me to join her a week ago. And I'm thinking, I'm so happy that she told me a week ago so I can be prepared because I don't do just water. It makes me have headaches. I feel by the end of the day, I'm eating everything. So if I have my juices and you have enough, every time you feel a little hunger, if you have a cup every hour or two, then you can survive, 
okay? Every two hours would be better to have a glass full of whatever juice you choose to make. Those juices that would be great for cancer, breast cancer in particular, would be like the carrot juice, um, beet juice. You know, we need some blood because sometimes the cancer, not sometimes the cancer drains of, of um, iron. And so I'm going to go and get source my vegetables today. And I'm asking you to join me. Anybody in? Yeah, I'll Today try. Prayer and fasting. I'll work. Amen. Praise to what time? Let's get to, to what time we end at what time? Sabbath morning. <laughs> Sabbath morning. See, let me tell you something about fasting. Let me say, explain something. When you're fasting, because those there have a lot of people joining us on YouTube. My, I'm appreciating you guys. When you fast, you shouldn't end the fast the same that on the evening. You shouldn't. And if you do feel as though you have to eat, go and buy yourself a watermelon and have that watermelon so you can have that at the end of the day. As far as possible, make your day a full 24 hours because what happens is when you end the fast in the evening with food, it defeats the whole purpose of trying to re... Because you're trying to reboot your body at the same time too. You're trying to cleanse and get rid of all the, the toxins, right? And if you can do a full 24 hours with just juices, teas, water, and if you must, some watermelon, you feel better when you wake up the next morning. You'll be energized and you're going to be far healthier. Let's go over to our part. Well, Let's see what's going church. on in that. Yeah. Go on. Most yeah, most ch churches do it all wrong. Yeah, well, they're right? gonna we're going to do a, a, a prayer breakfast in the morning at 8.30 at my church. So, Oh, tomorrow? No, on Sabbath. So Oh, so okay. Fast. Cool. So then you can end it then. You end it yeah, there. Yeah, but maybe I'm... You know, they say you shouldn't what eat too much or eat too heavy, and I like to eat a heavy breakfast. Well, it's only twenty four hours. If you were on for longer, then I'd say yes. But it's only twenty four hours, so you can have your breakfast. All right. Okay. All right. Let's get like to it. our cheese. Our time's gone. Our time's gone. All right. Beautiful. So there goes our cheese that we blended earlier. For this recipe and more, go to somethingbettertoday.com, written by that lady named Marlene McKinney. <laughs> you can go there. So let me grab a rubber scraper. Live simple, don't shop unnecessarily. There goes our cheese, yum, 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 yum. Making sure I get all, because everything's expensive. And then eat lots of beans and greens, hello. Stop buying these frozen veg uh, stuff, y'all. I don't have to call no name, y'all know what I'm talking about. These canned what, and frozen vegetables and um, uh, products, they're expensive. What gave right? it the orange color again, the paprika? Paprika. 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 Okay. Too much paprika, but anyway, hey, it's cheesy looking. Okay, I'm going to add just a touch of water, maybe, because I think I may have added it. It looks so good. It's so orange. Lord of mercy. Wasn't it you know, that if, orange? You add, if you add the smoked paprika, that'll add a nice... Oh, but I have more taste. flavor, girl. You're telling me, what? Then I know it. That's more paprika to be playing. I wish I had some. I went and to the store looking for some, but they didn't have any. I love smoked paprika. Oh... And if I don't so want gonna, to use the nutritional yeast, what will I replace it with? You use um. That's a great question. You use lemon juice with uh, what's the thing called? Cashews, cashews, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. lemon juice. I have a mm -hmm. cheese without. I have a cheese without nutritional yeast. But that's all I do. Yes, lemon juice, cashews, um, because the the. the Cashews give a cheesy flavor too, a creamy flavor. Right. And, and cheese. Juice, and you can cup. use a little tahini butter. Little tahini butter. Oh, okay. okay. I have yeah, that. That's, that's how that you do that. a suggestion, Sister Marlene. Yes. I mean, and Chef you can Marlene. also put some gabanzos in there too. Yeah. Go ahead, sweet girl. On your website, can you put, or maybe you'll do a short for it. Can you literally put that on your website? If you want to substitute nutritional yeast this is what that. you sub step, yes. substitute it with and this is the amount you would put in if I it will calls do that. for a tablespoon then you make this and you yes. put in that much that will go viral yes because like everybody's that. trying not to use nutritional yeast whether yeah. it says because there's so much controversy with the nutritional yeast. Yeah. So, so much people just say stay away from it then. Yeah, it's a lot of controversy over the nutritional yeast. Lots. A lot of a lot. A lot. I'm telling you, it'll go viral. Do a little YouTube thing. I'm telling you, it's gonna go viral. That looks so dancing. delicious. Oh, that it looks, looks good. so good. <laughs> um, my mouth is my mouth is like <laughs> it tastes so good. It tastes good. Very simple, nothing major. 
I could taste the dill, I just pinch of salt. Bring I didn't put any cayenne in there yet. I'll add some cayenne when we're done. Our time's gone for today. It's 7 59 and it's time to head on over to the prayer room. You have your link. Why not join me there so we can pray together? Because a family that prays together stays together. Thanks. Thank you for joining us on our YouTube channel. Thank you for dropping in this morning. <laughs> and here's another last saying from my mother. I forgot that one. Spend your money. You live in the woods. <laughs> my mother had the best things. You hear that? You spend your money. You live in the woods. Anyway, until tomorrow, I say God bless you and keep you. And remember,